recent history of Georgia has been marked by radical changes, bloodshed, and destitution. While leaders and regimes have come and gone, there has been one pillar of constancy for the beleaguered nation. And I was immediately aware with the patriarch that I was in the presence of a very, very special, saintly person. He has brought back the church to the people and returned the people to the church. All of Georgia has been collapsing for the past 20 years and we have seen nothing but a very fast demise in living standards, a horrific civil wars. His Holiness and the Institute that he has has been the oasis of, of blossoming, stability, and giving people hope. As Soviet soldiers brutally crushed civil protest in Tbilisi, he preached peace to a furious crowd. The Patriarch had what I can only describe as the most phenomenal moment of, of courage. He stood in front of us and told us to go home, which was unthinkable, uh, given the emotion of the crowd, given the elevation, given the expectation, uh, the longing for heroism, the love of our history, everything. He went into the war zone to bring back the remains of fallen soldiers. And I just can't forget the look of this Russian general looking at, at the Patriarch with such a reverence. And that was something unforgettable. His uncompromising integrity has united conflicting religions and peoples. He's revered just by everybody, everyone disregarding his political affiliation, class, or social belongings, or nationality. He has built new monasteries and convents while turning Georgia's declining birth rate into a baby boom. He is a venerated composer, a gifted artist, and a respected social thinker. What a gift. What an extraordinary gift to have that not only are you close to God in your prayers, but to receive from God that gift of being able to make music that lifts other people to God. He has the authority of a dictator, but the popularity ratings of a pop star. The Patriarch, a man whose steadfast devotion and direction have gained him glory and the love of millions. He is also a, a symbol of unity in this country and a symbol of goodwill and uh, love and, uh, among people. And uh, actually, you could say that uh, he symbolizes everything positive that I can think about. But now, the 80-year-old cleric's failing health raises concerns about the future of the Georgian church and the nation as a whole. With no visible successor to take over the spiritual and moral leadership, what will happen to this wounded country that has lost one third of its territory and that borders the terrorist-ridden Republic of Chechnya? Who is His Holiness Ilya II, the Patriarch of all Georgia? How did he become the most trusted man of the Caucasus.